this is David Gunn from the Queensland Eye Institute and this video presents my technique for implantable columnar lens insertion. The process starts with opening the vial that contains the ICL and removing it gently with the soft tipped sponge injector. You can see the correct vaulting of the ICL there. Occucodes have been placed in the injector provided by STAR, the cartridge, and very gently the ICL is rolled into position. You can use the circular dots to align the lens so that it's sitting centrally within the injector cartridge. These proprietary forceps are then passed into the cartridge to get a good full grip of the ICL and then holding my left hand steady, I pull my right hand gently away so that drags the, the ICL down fully into the cartridge. It's important to get a good full grab here otherwise it is possible to uh, rip a small amount of the soft lens um, at that point. The cartridge is then inserted into the handpiece, which has been uh, pre-wet, and then the plunger is advanced just to the uh, very tip of the inlet. We then address the patient, and you can see here I'm using a Callisto guidance system. Two paracentesis are made and then occucode is inserted into the eye. If you pay attention here to how full the eye is, we don't want the eye too full of viscoelastic at this stage, so one, when those little tubes start to become a mass, that's when we stop injecting. It's a 32 millimeter incision and the ICL cartridge and injector we're inserted into the wound gently. Once we pass the lip of the wound, the eye is brought back to neutral. And we very, very slowly inject at this stage to try and work out the orientation of the lens. So what we're looking for here is on that right leading plate haptic, we should see a circle. And that tells us that the lens is oriented correctly upright. It's important not to rotate the cartridge at this point and just give the lens time to unfold on its own. At this point we have a paddle manipulator that we can use to gently insert uh, the haptics. So the main aims here are to not touch or damage the crystalline lens. Take your time when you're doing the surgery. Here we're putting more viscoelastic in front of the ICL to push it slightly posteriorly. And then we're using the paddle here to gently manipulate the haptics uh, to go behind the iris. It's important to have good pupil dilation, or well, this step can be very difficult. You can use intracameral phenylephrine, all the standard preoperative drops. Here we, I like to address the, the distal haptics first and then I move to the, um, the proximal haptics. It's really important not to touch the optical zone of the lens and not to push posteriorly while doing this process. You really want to avoid going over the center of the lens with your instrument. And at this point I'm performing toric alignment. One of the most important steps of this surgery is to remove the viscoelastic very thoroughly as retained viscoelastic can cause raised intraocular pressure particularly at the two to four hour post-op so every patient should be seen two hours following surgery to check the pressure hasn't risen you know, i'm checking the alignment happy with the position this patient had an excellent outcome with 6-5 vision uncorrected at week one thank you very much